Welcome folks. Now I'm interested in showing you how to do DC analysis using ORCAD BSPICE version 17.4. And basically I will use DC analysis to validate Ohm's law. So I'm going to come into file. I will start a new project. And I can basically call it any name. I'm going to call it lab 2 because it is aligned with our lab 2 here at Washington State University when we covered the circuit analysis lab. So I will create blank project. The project is loaded. Uh, we make sure that when we come in here to say place parts that uh, we have the libraries we need. The most important one is the analog library and the source library for this project. So I'll uh, make sure that you add those two and those two libraries should be under the bSpice. So if you click in here and to add library, it should be under the bSpice library. Uh, you have the analog and the source library here also. The other libraries, you can add them for later on projects if you want it. So I'm gonna basically start by adding a DC voltage source. So I will say that V DC, and I will add this one here. And I can give it any value because here I'm gonna do a DC sweep. So I can give it a value like uh, 10 volts, for example. And then I'm gonna add a resistor R. And I will click on R to rotate the resistor so that the circuit looks nice and neat. And then I'm going to connect the two elements together. Like this. Finally, I'm going to add a ground. I'm going to make sure that I will add the zero cap sim. Uh, remember that B spy simulation requires you to define the zero voltage node, the ground. You must have that. The idea here is to use DC sweep, and DC sweep means to vary the value from an initial value to another value of a given component. So over here, I'm going to use the voltage source, and I'm going to vary the value of the voltage source from negative 10 volts to positive 10 volts. So I can do that through something we call DC analysis or DC sweep. It's a name that is used within BSPICE. DC analysis or DC sweep. So I'm going to click in here into new simulation to create a new simulation. I can give it any name. I usually call them SIM1, 2, 3, and so forth. So I'm going to call it SIM1. Now under the analysis type, I'm going to select the DC sweep. So remember in the previous video, we did bias point. Now we're going to do DC sweep. And now I'm looking at a voltage source. So I'm going to sweep the value of the voltage source. So different circuits will have multiple voltage sources. So if you have multiple voltage sources, you need to specify which voltage source are you sweeping. So here we are doing DC sweep for V1. So I need to specify the name for it. So I will call it V1. So that's what I have is V1. And then I will do a linear sweep. A linear, it's not going to be logarithmic, it's going to be a linear sweep. And I will start from minus 10 volts to 10 volts. And I will increment by 0 0.1 volts. So what does that mean is that when the voltage source V1 over here going to change, from initial value equals minus 10 to a final value 10 with a step size with an increment of 0 0.1 volts. So the initial uh, simulation will start evaluating or simulating the circuit if the voltage here was negative 10. The second value going to be negative 9.9. .9. We added 0.1 volts extra. Then we add another 0.1 volt, so it becomes negative uh, 9.8. And it keep adding and incrementing uh, 0 0.1 volts until it hits the 10 volts. So, and then based on that, 
the current through the circuit will change. So is the power and all that. So I'm interested in uh, plotting. So we're going to plot here the current through the resistor by changing V1 from negative 10 to positive 10. So to do that, I'm going to do apply, then OK. And now the simulation have been defined. Now I'm going to add a probe. And a probe or marker is basically will graph the signal. So I can add a voltage marker to graph the voltage. I can add a differential voltage. That's the voltage across an element. I can add the current. I can add the power dissipated. And I can display a list of plots if I want it. So here we're going to plot the current. So I'm going to plot the current. So I will click on the current plot. And I want to measure the current enters the resistor from the top. Enters the resistor from the top. So I'm going to click it here. Uh, now make sure that when you want it to plot the current, that the probe got to be placed at the end terminal of the resistor. If you add the uh, marker, the current marker here is not going to work because it doesn't know which current are you measuring. Are you measuring the current enters this resistor or the current enters this voltage source? They are two different currents. The current enters this voltage source can be negative, this current. The current enters this voltage source from the bottom going to be here. So when you place the current marker, you have to put it at the end of the component, at the end of the element. That's why I have it over here. If I add the current here, it's not going to work. And I'll show you how ORCAD will do it if I'm going to place this current marker over here. See? It shows error because the marker doesn't know which current to measure. But I can place it here and the marker will take it. So let's show you how we do that. Here you go. So the marker took it. Sometimes if you're going to put it next to it, it might not recognize that it's actually connected to the element. So if I'm a little bit higher over here, it might not take it. And I'll show you how it's going to look like. See, it didn't take it. So you want to make sure that you are touching the element at the side where the current enters. But I don't need this current, so I'm going to click on it, the second one. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to uh, select it, basically. And then I'm going to click on Delete, so I deleted it. All what I'm interested in is this current, and this current is going to be plotted versus the voltage as the voltage V1 sweeps from negative 10 to positive 10. So let's run the simulation now, and let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to run simulation. So it should work. There is no bugs here. And you're going to see at the bottom, this window pops up. This is what we call the BSPY simulation window. So I'm going to click on it. And here we have this straight line that shows you the current in milliamps versus the voltage. So here we sweep in V1 from minus 10 volts to positive 10 volts. And then the current will go from negative 10 milliamp to positive 10 milliamps which is basically a linear relationship that we are expecting that is basically V equals IR. Now, know that when the voltage across the resistor is negative, the current is negative. When the voltage across the resistor is positive, the current is positive. And I want you to see that Ohm's law V equals IR preserves the sign. When the voltage is negative, the current is negative. V equals IR. When the voltage is positive, then the current is also positive. So this was a very quick and simple video to show you how we can simulate uh, a circuit using DC sweep to validate Ohm's law. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much.